Happy Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Ah, Hedemore, before you go, I've got a bit of a Christmas favour to ask you. Oh, little donkey. Help yourself to a prawn Christ and come with me. <laughs> Welcome to the love nest. This is where the magic happens. Nice prawn, sir. Sorry. Well, you've probably wondered, Hennemore, why I've taken to sleeping in the office. And I'm not going to lie to you, Hennemore. I'm going to tell you a horrific private truth of almost genital intimacy. And there's nothing you can do about it. Is this about your perineum again, sir? Not directly, no. Mrs. Boss and I need to spice up our sex life. And what better time to do it than this sexiest of all the sacred festivals, Christmas. So in order to make our festive banging go with a bang, I've ordered a top-of-the-range erotic bed, the Sexualizer 4000. It's got self-notching bedposts, 12 lube jets, and an eight-speed slap-and-tickle setting. <laughs> now, I'm sure you're aware how strongly anti-nuclear Mrs. Boss has become since joining Ladies Against the Wall, a group dedicated to reaching out to the communist Eastern Bloc. So as a special treat, I've had the bed customised with an enormous CND logo. It's down in our warehouse, and I need you to get it installed up here by midnight tonight. No problem, sir. On an unrelated note, my longtime sparring partner and former prisoner of war camp guard, Klaus Automobile, now a big wheel of the Mercedes Corporation, keeps <laughs> rubbing my nose in the amount of arse he's getting. And indeed, let slip to me, has destroyed his own bed in a particularly torrid hump fest. I wish I could say the same about ours. That was the result of nothing sexier than Mrs. Boss thinking she could hear the telltale scrape of a Death Watch beetle and setting about the thing with a bust of Freud and a lacrosse stick. She's a passionate woman, sir. So I said to Klaus that I'd order him a Sexualizer 4000 as well as a treat. Then I hit upon the idea for a hilarious Christmas prank. In fact, I've ordered him a Jokopedic 69, a bed primarily designed for farceurs and humorous hospitals. It has 41 of the most unerotic settings imaginable, including nausea jets, unexplained custard, and dung. I want you to deliver it to his house by midnight tonight. It's also down in our warehouse emblazoned with an enormous Mercedes insignia. Sounds clear enough, sir. And Chop Chop Hennemore, I want you to get straight back here to video mine and Mrs. Boss's Night of Passion on your phone. But, sir, tomorrow's Christmas. I can't believe you'd be so selfish. It's Christmas. But it's Christmas. It's Christmas, Hennemore. But it's Christmas, sir. Then we're agreed. You get those two beds delivered. And remember, the only screw-up I want is the brilliant screw that I'm going to be... I know, sir. No, wait, that I'm going to be having... Really? I get it, sir. That I'm going to be having right up my wife's... I'll be going, sir. <laughs>